Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at basements and we're going to sort of look at all the things relating to them in build mode, such as how do you build them, how do you add stairs, how do you remove the roof and that kind of stuff because I've noticed a lot of people have been having sort of issues or they just don't know where to start. Uh, so first, uh, we're going to click on our walls and empty rooms just like any other room and you don't actually, there is an additional new basement tool and you can use this to just build a basement like that, but you don't even need to use that. What you can just, what you can actually do, let's just get rid of that. You can actually just click on the go to lower floor uh, button or press page down on your keyboard. And you can actually just build a regular room down here uh, because basements are not as we know them as basements in The Sims 3. They are sort of much more, they're pretty much the exact same thing as a regular room. They are just a room in The Sims 4. For example, I could just move this whole room and put it in the basement. Uh, obviously, it's going to get rid of the windows because there's no, you can't put windows down here. Unless, unless you have another room, then you can put windows into that room. Or if you had a pool, you could put windows into the pool. Uh, but just so you, you understand it, uh, the basements are just a regular room and they work just the same way. Uh, so let's just get rid of that basement we built. Uh, the reason you may want to use this basement tool though is so you can build it directly below your house because otherwise you can't actually see where your house is if you're doing it from down here. So let's just build our basement underneath there. Uh, and that's all good. That was easy enough. Uh, so let's go ahead and you know, let's add some stairs. So you can't add the stairs from the level above just because uh, you don't know it, it it always just adds the stairs going up, even from up here. I can't add the stairs down. Uh, so you want to go to the level below and just place your stairs in like that. And of course, it does work fine with foundations, but you got to be aware that uh, as you add foundations in, the stairs will automatically adjust their height. And if there isn't enough room, uh, they're not gonna they're not gonna be too happy about that. So if we extend our height, the stairs will actually disappear because there wasn't enough room to expand. Uh, but if we make our basement a little bit longer, and then scale up the height of the foundations. Uh, nope, not like that. Just a little bit. There we go. Uh, so the stairs have now sort of extended their, their length. Uh, now the reason they disappear at that point, which you may have seen, is because there's not enough of a gap um, up above for them to go down. So if we actually extend the room that way a little bit, then extend our, uh, our stairs or extend our foundation. Now the stairs do fit in. They do look a little bit ridiculous because they're quite big, but uh, they do fit. You just got to make sure if your stairs are disappearing uh, when you're adding in foundation, just make sure that you do have enough room uh, at the top of the stairs and at the bottom for them to fit in. So just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and just put that back to where it was because uh, I liked it. It was nice and compact. Right. So what about if we want to add an open pit to our lot. We wanted to remove the ceiling of a basement because it's actually a kind of cool feature and I, I really do like it. I'm definitely gonna be using it. So I'm gonna add another room next to our existing basement. And to remove the roof, uh, normally in a regular room, you just get out the sledgehammer tool and click here to delete it, uh, delete the roof. You click above it, for example, on this one, you would just click above it to do it. But of course, that doesn't work on the basement. Uh, it's very simple though. Just go to the basement level, click on your room, and then a yellow, go up a level. Uh, the a yellow line will appear around the top. Uh, if you click on that yellow line, remove ceiling, and there goes the terrain. It's all gone. Now you've got a hole straight into your basement, which is actually really, really cool. And I love this. I love that you can just have a wide open basement. So you can actually just create a completely sunken lot, which I, <laughs> I think is very cool. So uh, once we've done that, of course, you can add uh, in your doors and windows into your lot over here. So let's just add a nice little glass door and let's get some beautiful windows. There you go. So now that basement's got windows and that's got a beautiful light there. Uh, so that's how you can open up your basement. And of course, if you wanted to make your basement deeper, uh, like I said before, they are just regular rooms. So you just click on the wall, just like any other wall in The Sims 4, and you can change your height to medium or tall. And of course, our stairs have disappeared because there wasn't enough room for them to fit in. So let's make sure uh, we give them enough room. And then we can go to tall walls and then their stairs still fit in. Let's see if we can even get the stairs to fit in with a really tall foundation. There you go. <laughs> Those stairs are pretty dangerous. There's no, there's no railing on it. But anyways, yeah, so you can, you can adjust the height of those walls, of course. And, if, and we could even do these ones as well. There you go. Now we have a super tall house and a, a super deep basement. Uh, yeah, so they, they work just like regular rooms. Anyways, let's, let's bring that back down. It's kind of hard to see what we're working on if it's too tall. All right, so then uh, the second level, if you want to go further down, because there's two levels of basement, of course, you can do the same thing. You can just 
Uh, use, either use the little basement room tool, which uh, just builds the level below, or you can just go down and use the regular room tool like that. Uh, and and when you're sort of on this level, uh, you can just also click on the room, click on your yellow line, remove ceiling. Uh, it will not create a hole though, because uh, this is still underground. And it didn't uh, create a hole into this room because this still has a floor. So if you wanted to create... Um, so we, we've removed the ceiling of that basement, but there's still a floor in this basement room. If we get rid of that floor, now there's a hole, if that makes sense. I'll, I'll show you it over here. We'll, we'll create a new hole over here. So there's a couple things to take note of. So we've got two basements, and of course we can remove the ceiling of the first one, just like I showed you before. Uh, and then we can remove the ceiling of the second one. But there's still going to be flooring there, even though you've removed the, ce uh, the ceiling, there's still flooring of the other basement. So bring up the sledgehammer tool by pressing K or clicking on the, the button up the top. Click on the floor, and then you have a nice uh, two-story hole that you can look down into <laughs> if you want to for some reason. Uh, now, of course, you can add uh, pools in. Uh, not onto that level, though. I don't know why I tried to do that. You can add pools into the basement level just there. Uh, they work just fine. It, it works just like a normal room. No worries at all. Uh, you can, of course, add in windows into the pools as well. So you can get windows into the basement through the pool, which is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so I think that sort of, that pretty much covers it um, in terms of how you sort of work with basements. Uh, like I said before, they are just regular rooms. So you can place any room that you've had in your house into the basement. Uh, you can pull down any room from the gallery. Uh, let's even let's even do that. Let's uh, go to my library. Uh, let's pull down the uh, let's see. Let's pull down the teenage boys' room. Let's pull that into the lot. So you can just bring that down. Let's put it there. There you go. And we got a new basement room. It looks absolutely filthy, but there it is. So that's how you sort of work with basements um, and work with open roofs, which we can remove the ceiling of that one there as well. But yeah. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments down below. Uh, but that's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple to get started with. Uh, it, they work very similar to normal rooms. There's a few little differences in terms of how the stairs work and how to remove the ceiling, but I think I covered that. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.